Sure card versus Fluent card, which one is better? Now, this video is going to be very exciting because these are the two heavyweights in the WordPress e-commerce market. Let's take a look and see which one is better. So we're going to start off with the main dashboard here. So you can see uh, this dashboard is pretty much, you know, uh, very easy to navigate. And over here, it has the uh, order heat map. I like this because it will show where most of your com uh, customers are coming from. In this case, I have United States and I also have Bangladesh over here. Now let's take a look at the dashboard of Shortcut. So this is what we have. You can see it's, it's very basic. On the bottom uh, here, it has a list of all the customers and pretty much that's it. So what about advanced reports? Okay, well, you'd have to click here on view reports and this is going to take you now to app dot shortcut dot com. Now, this is very, very important. And this is the major differentiator between these two. So shortcut stores all your transaction data on its own servers, whereas fluent cart stores it on your actual website. I hope you you get the main difference here. So this is a SaaS platform, although it has a connection with your WordPress website. OK, so let's take a look here on the dashboard. So here, if I want to look at uh, uh, even more reports, I can just come over here and notice how fast it is. I mean, it's just it's just so snappy. Now, when it comes to reports, hands down, Fluent Cart here has more data. If you look, take a look here at sales, I mean, look at that. I mean, I can scroll down here to see all my sales and I like these inter uh, interactive uh, little graphs here. So when you hover over it, it tells you what's going on here. Same applies here on the bottom, even on the revenue here. We also have our orders. So this will tell you your order charts. So you can go here, you can see your uh, average monthly revenue. I mean, it's very, very detailed. If you go to revenue here, again, it breaks down your revenue. It, it's got all your dates. And you can also come over here and uh, specifically go to what you want. Yearly, monthly, whatever it is, you can just go in. If you want a different type of graph, you can come over here. And, you know, it just shows you a lot more information. If you have refunds, you can come over here, take a look at all your refunds. Subscriptions, you can take a look at your subscriptions here and of course your products and you can actually do a product comparison so if you wanted to see which product is performing more than the other clearly crafter presets here five units versus uh coffee two cups of coffee here three units so yes it's really, really cool that you can see which product is performing more so that you can put more re uh, more resources towards that. So I really like the reporting here. Let's take a look at the reporting over here on Shortcut servers. So if I go to my DV membership here, I mean, notice that there isn't really uh, much going on here. I mean, this is on daily. Let's change this to weekly. I can also come over here and say last 12 months. So, I mean, there is a way to go in and uh, choose you know, your stats. Here we have, you know, the reports. So you can go to orders. So this one comes up as a pop-up. So you can click here to take a look at your orders. But as you can see here, it's not as detailed as what we have on uh, Fluent Card. Before we continue, if you purchase Fluent Card using my affiliate link, I have some bonuses. You'll get access to my online community called Sell Online, and you also get my Fluent Mastery course, and also you get support in that community as well. Once we have all our templates, you'll also get access to your free design templates, and these are based on Divi. You can also purchase a uh, shortcut using my affiliate link in the video description below. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so the next thing I want to test here is speed. So over here, we are on the dashboard and we're also on the dashboard here of Fluent Card. So I want to see how long it takes for me to go to orders. So I'm just going to click here, bang, just like that. And notice that it's there on the orders. Really fast, no editing. Over here now, let's do the same thing. I'm going to come over here, hover over here and click on orders. Now notice what happens. It's taking a while. It's taking a while. And then now it's on the orders. So as you can see, there is definitely a difference in speed. When the CEO of Fluent Cart uh, mentioned this, I was very skeptical because I knew that Shortcut offloaded majority of its uh, heavy load onto its own servers because Shortcut is not actually hosted on your own um, website. 
So I thought definitely that was going to be faster, but I'm really shocked even right now that as I'm doing this test, you know, let's go back to our dashboard. Look at that. There's a lag. If I come over here and I want to go back to my dashboard, boom, just like that, we're in. So clearly this is faster. Okay, so next let's take a look at our products page. So I'm gonna come over here on uh, this particular product. Now there's a few products I have here. So I'm just gonna go to this one here, click on it and take a look and see how the UI looks like. Okay, so the same thing, I'm gonna come over here and I'm also going to go to my products. And again, notice the, I mean, notice the speed. Okay, so for this one here, I'm going to go to my TV5 mastery course. Now, notice that the UI here is more WordPress-like, whereas with Fluent Cut, it's more custom, which I think is a, you know, much better look. But of course, it's not really a major thing that we can just drive home about. Anyway, over here, you can see we can add our title. Pretty much, we can add everything in here. Uh, you can select your payment plan, and you also have our pricing uh, options. We have a simple variations as well and you can set this to one time or subscription which is brilliant so as you can see here the ui is pretty much you know okay and then over here same thing if you go to the pricing i can add another price and this is where i would choose one time subscription and so on so in terms of features we're pretty much the same here now there is something that is quite interesting on fluent Cart on this product page and that is your upgrade paths. So if I come over here, I can literally add an upgrade path from this product to let's say a lifetime membership, which I think is really, really cool. You also have integrations here on this tab, very easy to find, very easy to scroll to. And if I come over here so far, we can add our webhook, we can add Fluent CRM integration and a Fluent community. So I know with Shortcut, it's on a different place. So let's head over now to, uh, let's say, uh, order bumps. So both products have order bumps. So this is how you'd add a brand new one uh, over here. And you can give it a name. You can select the, the, uh, the price and so on. Over here, I mean, it's also there. If you go to more, there is order bump. And you can see here, I've added one. You can add a new one over here. You can give it a name and then you can order bump price. And these are all the products on there. And then we can also, you know, create it. It's pretty much very, very straightforward. Now this feature I'm going to talk about Fluent Card does not have. So I'm going to come over here and hover over uh, Shortcut. What Shortcut has is upsells. And this feature is not on Fluent Card yet, but I've been told that it is in the pipeline. It's going to be uh, released, you know, quite soon. They're working on it. Upgrade groups. I think that's similar to what I showed you here, which is the upgrade path. What I noticed here is Shortcut has its inbuilt in uh, Shortcut, but with Fluent Card, you have to download uh, the free plugin and it automatically works with Fluent Card. The free version can do quite a lot, but if you want extra, extra features, that's where you have to go with the paid option. Let's head over now to the pricing because this is where a major difference is. So over here on Shortcut, you're going to notice that it's free, but, and there's a big but here, there's a 1.9% transaction fee. So you can set it up all for free, but for every transaction you make, they take 1.9%. So it can add up, of course, if you are using, let's say, um, PayPal. PayPal takes its own uh, percentage as well. I think it's 2.5. I can't remember uh, how much uh, PayPal takes, plus the 1.9. So that can add up. But when it comes to uh, Fluent Card, it is absolutely free. Like free. Like free, free, free. If you install the free version of Fluent Card right now, you can get a store up and running without any additional costs. And this to me is amazing because it feels to me like the team at uh, Fluent Card donated this to the WordPress community. Because if you just download Fluent Card and you can set up subscriptions and you can sell products, 
digital and also physical for free, that is huge. That is absolutely amazing. But of course, if you want extra features, then you have to go with the paid. So over here, these are lifetime offers. So this is you pay once and that's it. You, you continue to get all your um, all your updates. And you can see clearly they say here it's 0% transaction fee, uh, one domain license, lifetime update. So this is for one website. I know you're looking at this saying 249 for one website. Well, you know what? With WooCommerce, that's how much you'd pay for the subscription feature because it's an add-on. Talking about add-ons, shortcuts out of the box works. Fluent cut out of the box works. So the question now is, does it need add-ons? Well, I've used both now. No, you don't need any add-ons. But if you want extra features, like for example, let's say you want to add email marketing automation to your Fluent Cart, then you would need to add Fluent CRM. But out of the box, I mean, you do have basic um, basic email sent out when someone purchases and so on. So out of the box, it works fine. But if you want like detailed um, email marketing automations and tagging and all that good stuff, then you're going to need Fluent CRM. Which one should you choose? Well, it's up to you. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.